Good morning. So today I'm wearing my Elizabeth Li Bennett linen tee that is available for um, test knitters. I've expanded the sizes and um, re revised the pattern a bit. So if anyone wants to test knit the newly revised pattern, let me know. And I have my shawl. I don't know if I've shown it on here. It is a fingering weight version of the Montagna that I have that's a um, worsted weight sweater. And this is in my springy colors. This is Knit Pick Stroll um, yarn. Very soft. My husband and son came back with donuts. As you can see, they haven't lo lasted very long. My son was uh, at some practice this morning, and so they stopped by Paul's Bakery. They make awesome donuts. So this week is busy. My daughter and I take the dog on daily walks. We get to see a bunny on one of them, which is fun. My hydrangea flowers are getting deeper in color and growing. The biggest thing we have this week is a swim meet. It's long and tiring, but it's fun too. I also take my dog Wookie to the vet for a regular checkup, and my daughter's hamster has a little adventure as well. Um, with all that goes on this week, I still find time to knit. Um, I work on the Ghost, Her Ghost Horse Sweater by Caitlin Hunter, a Boyland Knit Works, and I try on a couple of my other works in progress. Um, yeah, and that's it. Look how big and beautiful these are. Like, okay, here's my hand. My hand is like the size of one petal. This magnolia tree. Isn't it beautiful? Can you see the bunny? Oh, there it goes. See if I can zoom in. Hello, little bunny. Oh, there it is. My dog pulled the handle out of my um, hand to go chase the little bunny. He has a white cat in here. It's like a little puffball. It is. You can see his little tail. Mm -hmm. It's not like bouncing. It's kind of like running. Yep. There it goes. Bye, little bunny. It doesn't know where it wants to go. It doesn't look like it. Uh, it just went over there, and now it's bouncing over there. And there's a squirrel crossing the road behind it. Moosey wants it. Moosey! You want to eat that bunny up? You want to go chase him? <laughs> mm, he's gone. This is the one that escaped the leash. Took it right out of my hand. They don't see him anymore. Their color's coming in now. And look, this one is like purple and pink. Mm. Isn't that cool? Oh, and that one. Yeah. That one too. Yeah. It's like a purple and pink mix. Mm -hmm. That one's kind of like a mix together. Mm. These, I don't know if they're washing out. But they're These just are. Like Pink. pink, but pretty bright pink. Mm -hmm. This bush is a little different. You can see that the leaves are different here. Yes, Kaysen is reminding me that I gave my mom um, some blue ones. Hopefully they'll mm -hmm. stay blue. These are super bright pink. They are, and they're a little different too. They're bigger. See that, yeah, the little petals are bigger. They're like grandma's ones. And then there's some that are And the bright. leaves are different. Yeah, that's because they're young. They'll yeah. um, brighten up as they... They feel so cold. As they grow. Like oh, and in the same bush... Spider. <laughs> there are some purple ones. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of cool, and I don't really know how that works out. It could be two different bushes, you just can't see the mm. difference.
and they've grown together maybe but look how big it is it's huge And then these. And then look at this one, Mommy. Yeah, I'll show them that one in a second. Her richer purpley color. Uh-huh. And this is a young bloom. It hasn't popped open yet. Careful, you're going to break it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Pretty. It's pretty. And here's another one I have. This one's much deeper in color, and they get deeper as they um, as they bloom and come out. Like a ladybug. What are you doing, Kason? Making mug pie, right? Cake. Mug cake. Mmm. Spray. Braylon, is this yours? Mm -hmm. It looks quite good. All right, Kason's got a microwave of hers. Mmm. Take a take a forkful. Go ahead. Let's see how it looks on the inside. Oh man, it looks like cake. Yum. Hot cake. Mm-hmm. Yummy. You need some, like, ice cream with that. Mm-hmm. You look cute together. More ghost her sweater. I'm about to switch to... It's a speckle. It's, uh, like, dirty unicorn. I think that was the name of it. I forget where it comes from, though. And the main blue is now this gray color. That color one I changed because I ran out of the blue. Ghost horse sweater is coming along. I ran out of the blue. I may have told you guys that already. And so I changed to this gray as my like color one. And I'm still just um, rotating between some of my other scraps. This bluish one and um, the speckly one here. But I think it's looking pretty good. It's definitely, um, I don't know, kind of random. <laughs> but she she loves this neon green in it. In the aqua color and she likes the horses and this is has sparkly pink behind it um, it's like a deep pink so it's it's fun I might have to go back and find something that's actually buy something at the store that's similar to, to this blue for the sleeves because I've totally ran out of that and then um, I would like to have some of that blue here for the sleeves. And I'm not sure if I have any more of the neon color either. Well, that would be good to have. 
I do have more of this. I can unravel something that I made and then didn't use. So I'd be okay with that. And I have, I have lots more of this as well. So if I can just find some blue and maybe some of this one that's the green and the aqua there, that's all in one, the same yarn ball. Anyways, I'm getting close because she's much shorter waisted than I am. So I don't think I actually need to do much more in the body because she's only 10. And my puppies are fighting over a bone. Did he steal it from you? Poor pup. taking this little puppy to the vet for a regular health check and he knows we're here and he gets very excited. Maybe it's happy excitement. Wookie, are you ready for a vet appointment? Are they going to give you a treat inside? Might be all the dogs he smells. So this sweet puppy dog had a vet appointment today and he did fairly well. He didn't like it and kept trying to hide under my armpit. But at least I was able to go in with him now. Well, do you see yourself in the camera? Yeah, he was a good dog though, weren't ya? Yeah? You're all up to date on your shots now. Maybe the sweet dog. He just loves to cuddle. I'm working on my pattern writing. And he's just snuggling me while my daughter plays with the other one who's a little more active. <laughs> and he's about trying to bite the back of my shoe. Moose, I can't see you. Hey, Moose! And this one's just snuggling up a storm. It's like a, a real live stuffed toy. My daughter has created a treehouse type thing out of cardboard and paper for her little hamster. His name is Crumb Cake. He seems to like that corner the best. But he has climbed up at least one platform so far. Oh, he's thinking about it. Or not. He's cute. Hello, little Crumb Cake. He is a dwarf hamster. Chinese dwarf hamster, I think. Is that right, Bray? Mm-hmm. And he's super tiny. Legs up there. This is in his part. There he goes. He's at the top. You made it, Crumb Cake. He's not sure where to go next. <laughs> it's a long way down over there. <laughs> He's kind of sliding. Oh, back to his little corner. I am trying on my um, textured cardigan that I'm making. And I am a little surprised how much I like this first color that I chose. It's just so much fun. And I like the fit. It's plenty big to put a t-shirt under, which is what I wanted. I don't want anything too small um, or too fitted because I definitely want it as a, something I can throw on over like anything. And I like my little button band that I don't have to add on later. I'm actually leaving it as a open cardigan 
I'm not planning on putting buttons on it. Um, but I could, I could have made buttonholes and done buttons, but I just don't really wear my cardigans like that. Anyway, so on to this last color here, or not last color, second to last color. The uh, one that has more black and teal. But I'm excited. It's always exciting when you get to the point and you can try it on and see like, it's coming together. It's actually looking cute and fun. <laughs> Just hanging out this evening on the couch. For a few minutes before I go to bed with my puppies, hello puppies, and knitting on my sweater. I've been grabbing this one a lot lately because I've been really busy and worn out when I sit down to knit. So um, this one's just mindless. So I've been picking it up. Do you guys have knits that you tend to, or times when you tend to want to pick up a mindless knit versus times you um, want to pick up something that takes a little more brain power. So I am trying on a new hat that I am knitting for a friend from my yarn that I got out in Wyoming. And I am testing it out to see if I'm ready to close it up. And um, I'm almost there. So that's very exciting. I've done a double brim and I didn't want it to be slouchy or anything. I wanted it to be close knit. I really like the double brim. I did not do a professional cast on. I just did a long tail cast on, but then when I had knit up to here and I was ready to start my pattern and I wanted to fold the brim over, I just picked up a stitch along the cast on edge and knit it with one of these stitches as I went around. So I feel like that kind of creates the same thing as using a provisional cast on, only I didn't use the provisional one because I don't know, it's one extra step and I like simple. So anyways, I like it. It's a simple design that I made and the yarn is just so squishy. It's not like silky soft, but it's very squishy and I like it a lot. So. Do you think of my hat? It's actually not gonna be my hat, but I think it's cute. It's very comfy. <laughs>